So Nina Turner is amazing, and she went on the Young Turks recently and gave an interview that got a lot of people very excited, myself included. And so what I want to do is I want to play this portion of her answer to the question, what should progressives do moving forward? And I'm not going to lie, I got legitimate goosebumps listening to her answer on this. I mean, she is without question one of the most dynamic speakers on the left. And so I'm going to play this portion of her answer. It's a little long, but I think that it's worth it. It is just so well this is the attitude that the left needs to have and so we're going to play it and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it the future is that the leftists we need to run people against neoliberal democrats in every single election cycle period make it known just come on out and just say that's exactly what we're going to do if you are not willing to use the people's power on the people's behalf we come in for the people's seat not for you but for the people's seat and we're going to talk about what the people need. We need leaders who have a vision that will provide provision for the people. It's our government and it's our money. So nobody can sit on the sidelines, not in 2020, not in 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, and so on and so forth. We also need progressive organizations to come on and stiffen up here. We got outmaneuvered, point blank. The neoliberals coalesce. Ben, Jane, we, we know what happened. And so the progressive movement needs to be more agile. So those who lead organizations, I want to see progressives build a pack with one another, P-A-C-T, a table of progressives. Let's find those issues that we can agree on, top three, so you can keep your autonomy and your group and keep on fighting. But if we say our top three issues are criminal justice reform, Medicare for all, legalizing cannabis, hey, then that's what we do and come by hook or by crook. We stand in together, no daylight between us on those issues. And that way, that allows those organizations to continue to do the beautiful work that they're doing on other issues. But we we are lockstep on, on certain issues. And then another way is to come together to run candidates against neoliberal Democrats. That was amazing. And she gets it so much. Nina Turner gets it. She is literally the leader of the progressive movement right now. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. She, I think, is where the progressive party needs to go because she she just gets it. She gets the Machiavellian attitude that the left needs to have if we are going to actually win elections. That is, is, that was amazing. That was so amazing. She gets it. She gets the solidarity that the left needs to have. We need to have these core issues where these issues, we stand with each other on these issues. She brought up Medicare for all, you know, she brought up uh, legalizing marijuana and she brought up criminal justice reform. I think there are a few other issues that could be thrown in there, but like the, the principle of it, she gets it. She so thoroughly understands. And also I will say not to get people too excited, but Jenk Uger asked Nina Turner during this interview are you considering running for president in 2024? She said she is considering it. That, I, I, chills, literal chills. This is so exciting. She is exactly what we need. And I know that there have been criticisms of other figures on the left. AOC, namely, um, people don't think that she stayed, uh, she showed enough solidarity with Ilhan Omar when Ilhan Omar was attacked by the right over a number of different things. People thought that AOC played too much of, oh, we should all just like try and get along. No. No, it, 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 that's not to say I, but I do think, you know, AOC is another name that has been floated for 2024. I want to see her run for Senate. I think that that is where she, I think she could take Chuck Sumer's seat in the Senate in New York. I think that that is where she should be. And I think that Nina Turner should run for president. I think that that is, that, that would be amazing. That would just be so incredible. And I just, she is, not only does she get this, the, the, the urgency, she gets the need for strategic thinking. Like I said, that Machiavellian attitude where she, she talks about we were outmaneuvered. That is what she says. She says a point blank. We were outmaneuvered by the neoliberals in the primaries. That is so true. She was one of the most prominent voices in the Bernie Sanders campaign. And she just, I mean, at the rallies, I mean, we've seen it. She is phenomenal at giving speeches. I mean, you guys get a little taste of that there. I mean, that wasn't even a speech, but she's just so charismatic in the way that she talks about things. You know that she's going to get people excited, but also with her framing of issues, I think that that is something that is going to resonate with a lot of people. I think that you are going to see these people, because she talks about it, she goes, that's the people's seat. We're not taking it from you, we're taking it for the people. Like, that is the right frame. This is our money. This is our government. This is, yes, that is what we need. And I'm sorry if I'm getting overexcited about this, but I am just so, she is like everything that Bernie Sanders was, and also, like, she has this extra layer of charisma in my opinion where i i think that she could not to say that bernie sanders didn't have his own charisma 
but she has this energy to her that I am just so excited to see. And I know that when she when she runs, because I really I think there's a good chance that she'll run. Maybe not in 2024, but in the future, I think she'll run. Biggest thing she'll get knocked on, lack of experience. I believe that she's only ever been a state senator. I believe that's the highest elected official uh, position that she's um, held. I, you know, obviously she worked pretty highly in the Bernie Sanders campaign. Um, so she's going to get knocked for lack of credentials. But I mean, literally the president right now held no elected positions before this. And so I, I don't see how that could be a valid criticism of Nina Turner, especially when she gets it so thoroughly. She really, really does. And this is, I... I'm so ready to get behind Nina Turner's campaign. I so if Nina Turner, like, this this is who we need to get behind. This is the kind of attitude that the left needs to have. This is this is perfect. I I was just so excited to see this. I hope you guys also enjoyed it. Um, if you disagree with anything I said, you're wrong. But I'm just kidding. Um, please let me know in the comments. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And please have a great day.